Are you ready to own the freedom within you? Tonight, today, tonight, I want to discuss how honoring your commitments to yourself, no matter how small, can liberate, can liberate you to share your voice and make an impact. And here's why that's important and why it's relevant because today is July 4th, happy Independence Day. And I want to talk about how it's so important when you're looking at mindset and when we're talking about mindset this week, that it's really important to give yourself grace and honor the effort, not the outcome. Because right now we're talking about celebrating working the and that walk towards meeting your commitments. And why is that relevant? Because I am going live every day in July and it is 1142 PM and it has been a very busy day. So what better way to talk about how it's never too late to work on meeting your commitments than by going live right now and still making sure I have time to meet that commitment. Because, and you want to do it with grace. And thank you all for joining. I see you, Stephanie. I did do it. I did do it. And you know what today included? Waking up at 4.30 in the morning to get ready and go walk in the Coronado 4th of July parade as part of the Warrior Foundation Freedom Station and celebrating veterans who've been wounded and watching the wheelchair basketball players play wheelchair basketball while walking in the parade. And you know what? That took up a huge amount of energy and day. And so after napping and recovering, here I am. And you're right. Staying true to your commitment is a testament to integrity. Absolutely. And I think it's one of those things where it's really easy to say, you know what, I'll just do it tomorrow and apologize. But it makes a difference when you show up and say and do the things you say you're going to do. It's something that's really important. And it's something that I hold very like a lot of value towards. And I think a lot of other people do too. So thank you all who are joining right now. I think it's really exciting. I want to talk about as we're talking about mindset this week, that option to give yourself that grace. So rather than getting upset and saying, oh my gosh, I should have done it earlier. I could have done it. That, that, that. We don't want that. Give yourself that grace to make room to do the things that you say you're going to do and you're going to do them in the time frame that works for you. So that also means giving yourself the grace to give yourself more time when you're setting those commitments. When I decided to do this, this is day four, you guys, and this is the second late night one I've done. And I knew that. I knew the beginning of my month would be front loaded with activities from the para athlete event last weekend to the parade today. It's going to happen. Like Stephanie's saying, you don't always have to go live for the same amount of time each day. Right. This isn't going to be a 20 minute thing. This is going to be quick and easy because I think that that's part of what needs to happen in terms of staying true to your commitment and honoring that. And I really want to say one of the other things is that as we're talking about this and giving yourself grace to show up and grace to meet your commitments, another thing is that it's never too late that your wisdom and the things you have to say are needed right now. So whether it's 1145 at night or whether you're 50, 60 years old, your voice is needed. So however you need to show up and however is going to be the best way for you to show up, give yourself that grace and freedom to do so because people need to hear from you and they need to hear your opinions and perspective and expertise. And when you take the time to share that, people are going to appreciate it, even if it's late at night. And so I think that's really important and it's something you want to pay attention to. So it is never too late. And one of those things is owning those that just admitting it and realizing that and giving yourself the grace to accept that is really key. And it's something that can help you shine and make your light brighter. Now, I mentioned that I spent half the day participating in the parade with the athletes and the veterans and then the weekend at the para-athlete event. And I, it's just absolutely inspiring. First of all, the things that really stood out to me over the weekend was just this very much, the sense of community that everyone was welcome. And no matter who they were, what they were like, what their ability was, and everyone was welcome and everyone was made to feel a part of it. 
that is something that everyone wants, right? There's that sense of belonging that so many people strive for in community. And to be able to walk among, you know, be lucky to walk among this group of people is just very inspiring. And the same today in the parade. Find those places where you can be inspired to be a better person and to be, to do the big things. Because there's a lot of people who are able to do that and make those efforts and they make it very quietly. So we don't always see them. And so when you take the time to find those people and search them out and also make the time to become one of those people that make that effort to shine and share your voice and share your journey. It, it can just be so very impactful. And I know you have things to share and things that are worth sharing. So I'd love to see you start. And how are you going to do that? One of the things is that you can start by honoring your commitment to yourself. So making that commitment and honoring it, right? It would have been really easy, like I said, to say, okay, there's only 20 minutes left in the day. I'll just do it tomorrow and go live tomorrow. But that's not what I said I would do. I said I would go live every single day and I'm excited to go live every single day. And so that commitment to me is something that's really important to me. And it's not necessarily always going to be easy every day of the month, but that's okay. That's the first step to really feeling that freedom of like, I did this. What else can I do? I made this commitment to myself and it held true and I held it firm. What else can I do next? What's that next step I can take? So one thing that I want to ask you and challenge you is, What's the one small act you can do for yourself, for your business? What's that one thing that you can do that you can make a commitment to for yourself to really help keep that and make take that step towards really opening up your wisdom and your light as you make those steps to really committing to yourself and realizing that that's the hardest thing sometimes and look at what you can do when you do that. So what's the thing you can do? Because really, while we're on the 4th of July theme, are you ready to own the freedom within you? So pick something small that you can do tomorrow and keep that commitment to yourself and the next day and the next day. Because the more you do that, the more you're going to live, feel that feeling of liberation and feel those feelings of being able to really use your voice and help other people hear you and see you and see you making those moves and see you doing those small things because they build up and they build up and you will reach your goals as you do those. So find those small things that'll help you reach your next step and take those little, make that commitment to yourself that you're going to do it and you will notice a world of difference. All right, so leave any comments or questions below. We're in mindset week this week still. A couple more days left of it as I go live for 31 days in July to celebrate you, to celebrate your wins, to celebrate me and my birthday and all of the things that are happening this summer. I look forward to it and I will see you tomorrow. Enjoy. Enjoy.